The title of this mini-podcast is, I'm Not Me. I had a recurring phrase visit me over a decade ago. The phrase was, I'm not me. Of course, I got curious because this thought was begging for attention. It occurred to me that me is the part of me that gets flummoxed. By the way, isn't flummoxed a great word? It's not a great feeling, though. Me is a victim. It's as though the whole world has chosen me to dump on. Have you ever felt like that, Bunky? I'm certain you have, and when that happens, you're caught up in the part of you that isn't you. Me. Me has the ability to piss and moan with the best of them, and can make you believe that it's you. It's never you, never was, never will be. An autopsy of you will never find me. Me is the fictitious you that you made up and got comfortable with. Me is an entity that things happen to. It's always at the butt end of circumstance and has tons of enemies and people plotting cabals against it. Truth be told, we're just not that important. But don't tell me that. Me believes the whole world is centered around me. You, on the other hand, knows it's centered. That means when you get caught up in me, you would be wise to catch your breath and get centered on you. The part of you that dwarfs the trials and tribulations of me. Me is a reflection of your accumulated reactive thoughts. You is a chosen response to any given stimulus. You can choose to believe you are your thoughts, but that will only get you more of poor me. You can also choose to change your focus from me to you. When you focus on the whole, you, the part, me, becomes less significant. We've mistaken ourselves for our thoughts, and when we believe them, we become me. You're not your thoughts or your circumstances. You're much deeper. And at these depths, me can no longer function. I invite you to get curious about you. And when you do, you'll discover for yourself that I'm not me. All the best, John.